Good afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday, uh, April 30th. Uh, it's a little bit of a gloomy day, uh, but it is another day that the Lord has made, uh, and let us rejoice in it. Um, this afternoon, I want to share uh, with you the words of a song that I found as I was looking for um, some music, praise, worship type of stuff for um, uh, creation care. And it's by a gentleman by the name of Wendell Kimbrough. He's the worship leader of a church uh, down south. Um, and uh, the name of the song is Rejoice in All Your Works. And it's based off of Psalm 104. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to share uh, verse 1 and the chorus. Uh, the verse goes, Every mouth that cries for food, every lung that yearns for breath, every eye that searches through the dark for light, all creation looks to you for its breath and for its food. From the goodness of your hand, we're satisfied. And the chorus is this, O oh, rejoice in all your works, King of heaven, King of earth. Every creature you have made declares your praise. We rejoice in all you've made, God of all sustaining grace. With the mountain, sky, and sea, we sing your praise. And so we're out here today again, sitting outside enjoying the wondrous uh, beauty of God's creation. And I was thinking about this song over the last little while after I first heard it and I've, I've worked on learning how to play it. Because I think we forget that everything that goes on with creation, all of nature, uh, all of humanity, in some way, shape, or form, offers praise to God. Um, you know, Jesus tells us that even if we remain silent, the, the rocks will cry out. Um, and uh, you know, I think about that because in this time of, of viruses and staying at home and maybe feeling a little bit um, of feeling a little bit like you know we're we're kind of cooped up and cooped in we can still find ways to praise God um, in all of the little things that we do but the other thing about that is is that all of these things that are going on all you know I, I think about this sometimes when I think about diseases this is this COVID-19 virus in some way is a way of praising God. Maybe in the quarantine and time out that we've taken, we've found a way to offer to God praise and rejoicing because we have been able to take a step back to look at our lives differently uh, to understand what it means to care for others in new ways, um, what it means to uh, what it means to be aware of those around us and what our actions might mean for them as much as they do for us, um, and then you know, and then translating that into what those things might mean for. Uh, creation and nature in general, what our actions might mean uh, for the good of all of creation. Um, and then what we might be able to do to do things differently so that those people uh, around us that are most vulnerable stay safe. Um, and then maybe even thinking about what are the things that we can do um, to change um, or alter some things, do differently so that we might uh, better care for creation, that we might better, might have a better way of, of treating the things around us so that the consequences aren't so, aren't so dire. Um, 
And so that was a little bit about uh, of what I've been thinking is is that you know creation cries out for hope creation cries out to God creation rejoices in who God is and we all seek God uh, we rely on God for uh, food and for breath and for light and for hope and for grace and for mercy um, you know the the this last verse of this song is one that that um, really kind of fills me up with uh, with hope and that is may the ponderings of my heart and the song upon my lips with the chorus of creation join in praise to the God who made all things to the spirit who sustains to the Son who over all creation reigns God is with us God is in all of this and there are ways that we can rejoice that we can give thanks for the uh, the things that we're going through um, by really considering the things that we need to change so that we can uh, we can better love and care one for one another um, and so rejoice take some time and sing and praise uh, maybe lift a glass uh, if you're uh, joining us for virtual happy hour or even if you're not um, maybe going out and walking in uh, the beauty that is nature and sharing in uh, some time to uh, to do that. Let us pray. Gracious God, we lift our voices in praise to you. We know that you are the God of all sustaining grace. And we sing our praises to you. Let our voices join with all of creation to show our love and our gratitude for all that you have done and for all that you are to do. In this time of uh, isolation, this time of being separated, we ask that you are present with those that we cannot be present with, that you give us the courage to think deeply about what it is that we might be able to do differently so that we care for and are aware of all of creation in new and different ways. We ask these things through your Son who is with you always and through your Spirit that flows through all things. Amen. We will see you all tomorrow. Blessings.